Hi there, just going to take us for a walk around this 40 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf. It's a 40 kilowatt hour Leaf giving it about, around about 140 miles worth of driving range. Um, which is great, especially when you consider the price point this car sits at. Um, it's the Ascenta spec um, and it's got 30,000 miles on the clock. Uh, MOT is not due until the end of May next year and next service isn't due until June next year so nothing to worry about for absolutely ages. Uh, overall really nice condition car, a uh, couple of minor little marks but I'll, I'll just quickly go around the car now and any of those little imperfections that are noteworthy I will be sure to point out to you. Overall the condition of the car though is excellent. are both okay on this side, as are all the panels. Yeah, and the boot sill's nice, that's that's good. Normally you see little nicks and chips there, but no, it doesn't have anything. I mean, there is the tiniest of little marks there on the side of that alloy. I feel extremely silly pointing that out, so probably worth disregarding, because that really isn't anything, but it's a, just a tiny little bit of alloy wheel corrosion. It's not curb damage or anything like that. All the panels are looking good though. Again, a little bit of marking around the outer edge of the alloy. Again, it's not curb damage, it's just just a little bit of alloy wheel corrosion. And there may well be a stone chip or two on the bonnet and the bumper. The little marks there, they might... There, those might pot actually there. That's actually grind marks that's coming off, so that's not a thing either. <laughs> so I did think I'd wipe the car over. Uh, obviously missed a little bit there. But that's good. I mean... To be fair, honest, there's not a lot really to point out on the car. There might be a little mark here and there, but then nothing really of any note. And it's the centre spec, so you get um, a nice, sort of comfy fabric interior. You get a nice infotainment system with a reversing camera. You get Android Auto, you get Apple CarPlay as well, which is nice. An inbuilt sat nav, digital dash display, variety of driver safety bits and bobs. It's a nicely spec car. The main thing is it's a Leaf really, you've got very, lots of heritage there, very high quality car, built very well, very competent as an EV uh, and also great value given the, well, the quality of vehicle and the, the range it can do. You get a nice big boot in the centres. The highest spec one has a, a, like an amp box in the back which does take up a bit of room so uh, you know um, that's a positive there for the Ascenta. In that boot we'll be putting a three pin charging lead like we do with all our cars. So this car will come supplied with a lead that you can plug into any normal domestic main socket uh, and you can charge the car from that so you don't necessarily even need to get a charge point installed. Uh, and there you have it. This is actually a really nice car. So yeah if you're looking for a, a good value uh, low cost, high quality, 40 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf, this could well be the ideal car for you. And anyway, this car's here on the forecourt, ready for a test driver reviewing. Alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to watch all our Nissan Leaf content on our website and our YouTube channel. Hopefully, you'll find those videos useful. And hopefully, we'll speak to you soon.